In this video, we will cover how to connect the TMX100 Thermalinks Wi-Fi module to a Wi-Fi network using an Android device. The TMX100 is only compatible with the Zone 550 and the Snow 550 with version 2.0. The first step is to download the Thermalinks app from the Play Store. If users already have the app, please make sure that you have the latest software update. Android devices must also turn the location services on. Please go to Settings for your Android device. Click on Apps, then search for the Thermalinks app and select it. And then click on Permissions. Now turn on Location. Ensure that the Thermalinks app is completely closed at this time. The next step is to press and hold the reset button, which is located on the left side of the TMX100, for 10 seconds. All LED lights will go blank for a quick second. The red Wi-Fi LED will start to flash, letting you know that the unit is ready to be connected to Wi-Fi. At this time, unplug the TMX100. Now plug it back in. The next step is to open your Wi-Fi settings on your Android device and search for the Thermalinks network. If you're trying to set up the Wi-Fi from a previously failed attempt, press and hold on the Thermalinks network now and forget this network. Select the Thermalinks network It may say that there is no internet available or this is an unstable connection. This is normal and continue with the setup. Open the Thermalinks app. You will receive a pop-up screen stating contacting Thermalinks. This will help with the setup process. If it does not appear, please close the app and reopen it again. You will then be directed to select your network. In password, please enter your network SSID password. Select connect to Wi-Fi now. The app will send the SSID and the password. A 120 second timer will be displayed. After the timer has finished, all three LED lights on the TMX100 will be solid, which means that the connection process was successful. If the LED lights are not all solid, please unplug the TMX100 for 10 seconds and then plug it back in. Wait to see if all three lights have become solid. If only the red and green lights are solid, then you'll need to open port 1314 on your router to allow the Thermalinks to communicate with our server. If you need assistance with this, please contact your internet provider. If at this time only the green LED light is solid, this means that you have inputted the incorrect password for the Wi-Fi network that you have selected.